So cloacal extrophy, we now called OEIS, um, which is an acronym for omphalocele extrophy in peripheral anus and spinal anomalies. So essentially what it is, is the bladder and the cecum, which is part of the colon, are joined into one plate and are essentially turned inside out. So when you look at the baby, what you actually see is the inside of the bladder and you see the inside of the bowel, which is joined into one, what we call cloacal plate or extrophy plate. Cloacal extrophies, unlike cloacas, can be girls or boys. So cloacas are just found in girls, whereas cloacal extrophy can be found in girls and boys. Often the cloacal extrophies can be diagnosed prenatally because what they will see is there is an absence of the bladder. They won't find a bladder on the prenatal ultrasounds. And sometimes they'll see an omphalocele. So an omphalocele is where there are abdominal contents that go out into the umbilical cord, so it's like a big hernia, essentially. Cloacal extrophies have many more associated anomalies than, than cloacas themselves. Often they will have spinal anomalies, so they can have something called a myelomeningocele, which is like a swelling of the spinal cord in the back. Some of them will have tethered cords. They can have orthopedic issues um, related to their hips and as well as to their lower legs, and some of them may have club feet. We have a team that works together, including pediatric or colorectal surgeons, urologists, orthopedic surgeons, and neurosurgeons who will come up with a coordinated plan so that we have planned things out on when things will happen for surgery and for follow-ups to help with the overall care of these kids.